Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10, Wooden Sea Monster. The Gripshunden was a Danish warship that caught fire and sank to the bottom of the Baltic Sea all the way back in 1495. Many lives were lost, and most of the vessel remains underwater today near the Swedish town of Ronneby. It was rediscovered during the 1970s, but wasn't positively identified as the Gribschunden until 2013. It's considered to be the best preserved shipwreck of its era, and may be the only ship of its kind from that time period, making it a pretty incredible shipwreck on its own. In 2015, over 500 years after the Gribschunden plunged into its watery grave, a wooden figurehead depicting a sea monster was brought to the surface. The 11-foot-long, 660-pound creature has lion-like ears and a crocodile mouth. It once sat proudly atop the ship's prow. It's unlike any other 15th-century artifact ever found throughout the world, according to Marcus Sandiker, who led the recovery effort. He told reporters that the creature in the carving could reflect the ship's name, which translates to Grip Dog or Griffin Hound. Archaeologists hope to raise more of the wreck, which could help them learn more about what shipbuilding was like during the 15th century. While that info would surely be fascinating, the origin of the Grip Dog or the Griffin Hound itself as a creature remains a strange mystery. Number 9. Underwater Arctic Volcanoes Exploring beneath the permanent ice in the remote Arctic is incredibly difficult. It requires good timing, a degree of luck, and a powerful steel-hulled ship called an icebreaker, which plows through the ice but also floats along with it. And it's hard to imagine that you would find anything hot in a region that's known for its unforgiving cold. But there are a series of underwater volcanoes, or hydrothermal vents, at the bottom of the Arctic Ocean. In October, a team of over two dozen scientists embarked on an expedition in hopes of exploring some of them. Luckily, the conditions were favorable, giving them the opportunity to investigate the depths using an underwater robot. It marked the beginning of what deep-sea ecologist Eva Ramirez Lodra described as a new frontier of exploration in the Arctic. The robot descended 13,000 feet to a region known as the Aurora Vent Field. It's a fascinating pitch-dark world filled with geyser-like vents called black smokers that spew hot volcanic material into the water. Surprisingly, there is life in this seemingly inhospitable region, where snails, worms, crustaceans, and other creatures have evolved to survive on volcanic chemicals and in the complete absence of light. Active vent fields are incredibly rare. Combined, all the known environments of this kind in the world would occupy an area smaller than the city of San Francisco. Scientists say that it's important to protect these otherworldly habitats, which are threatened by the prospect of deep-sea mining. To better learn how they can do that, they took samples of the life they found there. Experts also believe that there may be chemicals in and around hydrothermal vents that may prove useful for treating cancer and other serious illnesses. All the more reason to protect these incredible anomalies, Earth's environments prove to be even more strange and diverse than we imagined. Number 8. Giant Phantom Jelly The giant phantom jelly is largely a mystery to scientists, even though the first specimen was collected all the way back in 1899. It was finally identified as a new species 60 years later. Since then, experts from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, or MBARI, have only spotted it nine times. Scientists in general have only encountered the creature around 100 times. The creature's bell can reach more than one meter across, and its arms can grow to 10 meters or longer, making it one of the world's largest jellyfish species. It's certainly not small or hard to spot, and it's known to live in all of the planet's oceans except for the Arctic. But it's typically only found at depths between 900 and 4,000 meters, which is why sightings are incredibly rare. While piloting a submarine in the waters off Monterey Bay recently, Ambari researchers spotted one of these strange specimens lurking at around 975 meters below the surface. By taking advantage of the rare opportunity to observe a giant phantom jelly, the team learned more about the ecological role it plays within its habitat. For example, in an environment that offers few options in the way of shelter, some fish take refuge beneath the giant phantom jelly. Learning more about the species will be tough, but unexpected encounters like this are certainly helping to speed the process along. Number 7. 
Baltic Sea Anomaly During the summer of 2011, a group of Swedish treasure hunters known as the Ocean X team discovered a strange disc-like formation on the floor of the Baltic Sea, 300 feet below the water surface. Conspiracy theorists were quick to classify the 210-foot-long object as a UFO. Team leader Peter Lindbergh claimed that the structure was built before the last ice age, which peaked around 20,000 years ago. He also implied that the group had discovered Atlantis, the mythical home of a so-called lost civilization. Nearly all mainstream scholars consider Atlantis to be a fictional place that never existed. Lindbergh did admit that the formation could be natural, but he clearly preferred to focus on the more far-fetched possibilities. Stockholm University scientist Volker Bruchert analyzed a sample of the rock and found nothing out of the ordinary. He explained that it was made up of different types of granites and sandstones, which are what an expert would expect to find in a rock from a glacial basin. One of the samples contained basalt, which Bruchert described as out of place, but not unusual. Like many other experts, he believes that the so-called Baltic Sea Anomaly is nothing more than an oddly shaped glacial deposit that to some looks a lot more exciting than it actually is. So what do you think? Underwater UFO wreckage? The remnants of a lost civilization? Or simply a glacial deposit? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below! And now for number 6. But first, want to give a big shout out to Michaela Montgomery and Penny Plant and Dad! Hi Dad! Thanks so much for watching and supporting Origins Explained. We wouldn't be here without you. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos about amazing discoveries. Number 6. Mammoth Tusk While exploring along the Pacific Sea floor off the California coast in 2019, scientists from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute that I mentioned before spotted what looked like a mammoth tusk. They were roughly 185 miles from land when they spotted the out-of-place object 10,000 feet below the water's surface. They were using a remotely operated vehicle or ROV, and you just never know what you might find with these. The obvious question that followed was how in the world a three-foot-long mammoth tusk ended up where it was found. The team determined that the artifact belonged to an extinct Colombian mammoth who died around 100,000 years ago. A prehistoric tusk this old is an extremely rare find on land, but this is the first time one has been discovered in the ocean. And it's shocking that it wasn't destroyed or buried after spending all of that time at the bottom of the sea, according to marine biologist Stephen Haddock. The tusk is remarkably well preserved owing to the dark, frigid conditions along the ocean floor. It might even be the most intact mammoth tusk from that part of North America, making the find even more incredible. Scientists plan to perform CT scans and will try to extract DNA in hopes of learning more about mammoth lineages. It could prove especially helpful because Colombian mammoths are hybrids of two different species, but their origins and when the hybridization began remains unclear. Number 5. An Unusual Ancient Sea Star 480 million years ago, the supercontinent Gondwana was the dominant landmass on Earth. Situated near modern-day Antarctica, it was made up of parts of what are now Africa, South America, Australia, Antarctica, the Arabian Peninsula, and the Indian subcontinent. At the time, a starfish-like creature lived in a cold-water reef among an array of other prehistoric alien-like species that look nothing like the marine species that exist today. It looked arguably more modern than the animals that shared its habitat but lacks the characteristics that scientists reference when telling apart modern starfish and brittle stars. This indicates that the ancient marine species is an ancestor of both. It might also be related to other echinoderms, including sea lilies. A fossil of the creature was discovered nearly two decades ago in the Moroccan desert, but it wasn't identified as a new species until last year. Lead study author Aaron Hunter says that the ancient starfish takes researchers straight to the origins of its modern-day relatives, which have a widespread presence throughout the world's oceans. It appeared during the Great Ordovician Biodiversification Event, which was marked by the longest and most sustained increase in marine biodiversity in the history of the world. There are still several mysteries surrounding the newly described species. Scientists found evidence of a jaw, indicating that it wasn't a filter feeder, and they are not sure what it ate. 
And there are still gaps in the creature's history that require more research. But don't worry, they're on the case. Number four, bizarre holes. In 2019, researchers from Mbari again made another discovery. They announced the presence of strange holes in the seabed off the Big Sur, California coast. The first of these pits, known as pockmarks, was discovered 20 years earlier during a seafloor survey. Scientists found thousands more over the following years. The largest holes measure 600 feet across and 16 feet deep on average. A statement from the researchers described them as nearly circular and fairly evenly spaced. There are over 5,200 pockmarks spanning a 500 square mile area. Scientists don't know what caused the holes to form or why there are so many of them, according to Ambari researchers Eve Lunston and Charles Paul. They also found over 15,000 smaller holes called micro depressions, which measure 11 feet across and 3 feet deep on average. Lunston and Paul described them as recently formed erosional features. And that's about all experts know about the odd otherworldly holes. What do you think they are? Let me know in the comments below. Number 3. Boiling Siberian Sea In 2019, a team of scientists traveled to a part of the eastern Siberian Sea that they knew produced methane long ago as part of an expedition to study the effects of thawing permafrost beneath the ocean. They didn't expect to see any active methane fountains, but to their surprise, that's precisely what they found. Occupying an area of somewhere between 43 and 54 square feet, the stream of boiling methane bubbles had a gas concentration measuring six to seven times higher than the global average. Permafrost stays frozen for tens of thousands of years, and it doesn't only exist on land, it also occurs underwater and is actually the reason for the discovery of the methane fountain. When permafrost melts, the organic material it contains breaks down and releases methane. This is concerning because as more permafrost thaws, more methane enters the atmosphere, which leads to increased warming. It's the last thing we need in a world that's already threatened by the effects of climate change as global temperatures increase at their highest rate in tens of millions of years. Scientists refer to this vicious cycle as a positive feedback loop. For now, the methane fountains that the scientists discovered are too small to have a worldwide impact. But as the Siberian permafrost continues to thaw, it seems as though the situation could get worse. Number 2. Submerged Ancient Forest Off the Alabama coast in the Gulf of Mexico, there is a 60,000-year-old cypress forest that once stood on dry land and above sea level. The trees sprouted along the banks of a river shortly after humans are thought to have started migrating out of Africa. Old fallen trees became buried in sediment, and sea levels eventually rose due to rising global temperatures, submerging the entire forest. It sat undisturbed until Hurricane Ivan struck in 2004, disturbing the seabed and revealing the prehistoric trees in Mobile Bay. The trees were shockingly intact after spending thousands of years encased in sediment, which prevented oxygen from reaching them and causing them to decay. But now that they were exposed, scientists knew that they had a limited amount of time to study the ancient forest. In 2019, researchers collected samples of the wood as part of a NOAA-funded expedition. The following year, they announced that the trees may contain materials that could be used to develop life-saving medicines. The team of experts removed over 300 organisms from the wood, including a previously unknown shipworm species that produced over 100 types of bacteria. Many are new to science and are undergoing DNA testing to determine their potential medical uses, including as painkillers and anti-cancer drugs. In the past, at least one type of shipworm-related bacteria has proven promising as a possible antibiotic against parasitic shipworm infections. Researchers are also investigating the wood's potential usefulness in paper products, renewable fuels, chemicals, animal feeds, and more. Number 1. Large Glowing Sharks Last year, scientists discovered three shark species that glow in the dark while studying the creatures off New Zealand. The trait, known as bioluminescence, is common among marine animals, but this was the first time that it was observed and documented in those particular species, which include the kite fin shark, the black belly lantern shark, and the southern lantern shark. 
At up to six feet long, the kite fin is the largest known bioluminescent vertebrate. All three live in the mesopelagic or twilight zone of the ocean at depths of up to 3,300 feet. Their bellies glow and researchers think may help camouflage them from predators that attack from beneath by making it harder to see them against the bright water above. But the kite fin shark, one of the slowest swimming species, has few natural predators, if any. So why would it need to blend in with its surroundings then? Researchers speculate that it makes itself glow to disguise itself while approaching prey, or to illuminate the sea floor while it searches for food. The study's authors admit that more investigation is needed before they can make a definitive conclusion. One way or another, though, it's clear that bioluminescence plays a critical role in marine ecosystems. Thanks for watching! Which of these was your favorite discovery? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!